Now on Nightside, more changes coming to West Bonner School District. Why parents aren't happy about the incoming superintendent or what happened at a meeting about it tonight. It's a weather roller coaster after a chilly, wet and breezy Wednesday. Temperatures rebound at least briefly in your first alert forecast. Parents are scrambling to find child care in North Idaho. Why it's getting more expensive and harder to find. You're watching 4 News Now Nightside. We start tonight with breaking news. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Aaron Luna. Moses Lake Police arrested a man for distributing child pornography. 28-year-old Justin Erdman was arrested at a pre-planned traffic stop when he got off work. Detectives took 19 devices out of his home to analyze. Moses Lake Police say the arrest follows a three-month investigation by detectives. In a Facebook post, police addressed anyone who may have received child pornography from Erdman saying, quote, Drop by and we'll talk about it. If not, don't worry. We will come to you and sooner rather than later. Moscow murder suspect Brian Koberger wants to challenge his indictment. A grand jury indicted him on four counts of first degree murder and a count of burglary last month after his December arrest in Pennsylvania for the murders of four University of Idaho students. His defense team and the prosecution have not come to an agreement about what evidence to turn over to Koberger that the grand jury saw. Koberger now asking that his case be put on pause while he challenges the indictment. It's a lot cooler today than it was yesterday. Temperatures definitely taking a drop. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker. It was about a 20 degree drop, but may have felt even cooler with the breeze and the showers. Our time lapse looking south over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena was not a very pleasant day in Spokane. And even though we made it up into the upper 60s for a high in Spokane or mid 60s, that was in the late afternoon once the rain started. We dropped quickly into the 50s to get into the 70s in Omac, Grand Coulee in Ritzville, and 75 in Lewiston. Temperatures currently are in the 50s in most locations, and we're headed down to overnight lows in the 40s. It will be a crisp start to the day, maybe a sweatshirt if you're heading out to the bus stop, but we warm up very quickly. Expect sunshine, much calmer conditions, high temperature of 77. We're back actually back up above average 73 is our average high our warming trend continues but as i mentioned it's a bit of a roller coaster we're heading back down to some cool weather for the second half of the weekend i'll tell you all about it in just a few minutes erin thank you chris some of vista customers reached out to four news now saying they recently received a notice of an up to 40 percent change in their monthly bills Earlier this year, Avista said customers were notified about a 6% rate hike that will go into effect January 1st. However, Avista customer Josh Mills says he recently got a letter showing his monthly payment would be increasing from $250 a month to just over $350. He pays his bills through Avista's Comfort Level Billing Program, which is supposed to even out the seasonal highs and lows of your bill by dividing your yearly energy use into equal monthly payments. Mill said his energy usage had not drastically changed recently and that people in his circle are seeing similar increases to their bills. You have a house that is very energy efficient, nothing has changed. It's not like we're running our hair dryers 24 seven or anything like that. And then all of a sudden you have a hundred dollar increase and your mouth just kind of, you, you're a bit shocked when, when you see that. We reached out to Avista to learn more about what could be causing this increase. While no one was available for an interview today, representatives did say big increases like this are dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. Avista representatives say if you have seen a dramatic increase in your monthly payments, reach out and they will be able to pinpoint where the big change is coming from. Now, Gonzaga paid its respects to a legend. Time for a quick look at sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. A memorial for Gonzaga and Eastern Washington basketball coach Jerry Krause was held at McCarthy Athletic Center today. Krause died from colon cancer last month. He was 87 years old. Now, Gonzaga head coach Mark Few and former Gonzaga assistant and current Arizona head coach Tommy Lloyd were both in attendance at the memorial. Former players such as Adam Morrison and John Stockton also showed support for Krause. Krause spent 20 years at Gonzaga, most recently as the director of basketball operations. He was also the head coach, head coach at Eastern for 17 years, a life full of stories from one of basketball's best. Coach was my grandpa. The closest thing I've ever had to a grandpa in my life. He, he probably wouldn't like hearing me say that. 
because it made him feel old. But it's true. They say you don't get to pick your family, but I'm picking Coach Krause as my grandpa. I would have never been prepared to teach the team and coach the team and lead the players and the, the staff if it wasn't for the things that Coach Krause has taught me. Krause was inducted into the Naismith Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame last year. Krause also racked up nearly 300 wins at Eastern Washington and saw the team's transition to a Division I program. Live in the studio, Julian Minnesota. 4 News Now Sports. Julian, thank you. An update now to the battle by the Department of Health to shut down a teen substance abuse treatment center in Spokane. The facility is facing accusations of mistreatment of patients by staff as recently as last fall. The Daybreak CEO filed new court documents ahead of tomorrow's contempt hearing in Thurston County. In the papers, Thomas Russell says most of the 130 member staff will be laid off by the end of the week. He says the plan is for the Spokane and Brush Prairie facilities to shut down by the end of the month. The CEO said the Department of Health set Daybreak up for failure by delivering a large amount of paperwork containing suspension notices and a four day notice to transfer patients on the Friday before Memorial Day. Daybreak says teen patients who left the facility during the turmoil at the end of last month are now experiencing relapses, overdoses, and involuntary hospital stays. The Department of Health says it remains focused on the safety and well-being of the patients. New provisional data from the CDC shows that drug overdose deaths are hovering at near record levels. Those deaths are only slightly less than the record levels reached during the pandemic. The highest number of overdose deaths were reported through March of last year with just over 110,000 deaths. According to the new data, just under 110,000 people died from drug overdoses in the 12 month period ending in January 2023. Synthetic opioids, including fentanyl, were involved in more than two thirds of overdose deaths. Google has a fun new virtual try on feature that uses AI, but 42% of CEOs say they believe artificial intelligence is dangerous. Plus, how one victim of a romance scam is trying to make sure no one else goes through the same pain. That's next on Nightside. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. Is it your day to water? Know if you are odd or even and be water wise this summer. I'm Chad Young from the Easy Home Buyer, and I pay cash for houses. If you own a house and want to sell it fast for cash, call us today for your no obligation as is cash offer. We buy houses in any condition, and there are no fees, no commissions, and no repairs. We buy houses with tenants, fixer uppers, bare land, even haunted houses. Woo! <laughs> call us today or visit us online at theeasyhomebuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the Easy Home. A Spokane Valley homeowner thought her smoke detectors were fine, but they weren't. How firefighters spotted a potentially deadly problem and how you can get the same help for free. Tomorrow at 6 on Good Morning Northwest. One of the best kept secrets in Spokane is the little granite and cabinet store that does most of the biggest remodels and new construction. Northwest Granite. Northwest Granite is known for their incredible selection of unique granite, marble, and quartz countertop options that bring captivating, attractive looks to any room in your home. From quality flooring to a variety of cabinets and exotic countertops, Northwest Granite is the one-stop shop that does it all. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Friday through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2023 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. Pop the champagne, humanity. We've done it. Celebrate your night with big winners, shocking thrills, and living legends. No, I've always thought of you as Dave Jr. <laughs> oh, every hair on my body is standing up right now. Jimmy Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Medellin Falls Bigfoot Festival. Thanks for staying up with us. Large hail crashed into homes and covered this family's front yard in Arizona. That's not the only severe weather happening across the U.S. Take a look at this video of a tornado forming near the Alabama-Florida border. The storm splitting trees and damaging multiple buildings. 
Ah. We are late in the tornado season. We have a hundredth of an inch to report from the airport in Spokane to some very light rain today. And we are running below average year to date. We've only had six and a quarter inches of precipitation at the airport. 8.68 is our average for this time in the year. Our high today only 67, but again, we hit that rather early in the afternoon and then started dropping as soon as the rain hit. 73 is our average high 849 our sunset time going on nine o'clock here's a look at our temperature trend over the next seven days this white line is our average high so from 67 a little below average today to above average tomorrow our warming trend peaks friday at 80 and then we start to see things moderate before we start crashing down 66 on father's day sunday in the lower 60s by tuesday and that is going to come along with the chance of showers. Now tonight, it's going to be a chilly night, 49 for an overnight low, mostly cloudy skies. We'll begin clearing by tomorrow morning, mostly sunny tomorrow with a high of 77, a very different day than today. Southwest winds at just 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our chance of precipitation, zero for the next couple of days, other than in the mountains where we have the chance of some isolated thunderstorms. It ramps up a little bit, only 10% Saturday and Sunday. Monday, and then by Monday, we have a better chance to see some rain. And that is Juneteenth, 63, the high. Our chance of showers will continue Tuesday and Wednesday. In the meantime, enjoy a couple of sunny days, partly sunny skies on Saturday. And really, Father's Day, 66 and partly cloudy. Pretty nice day as well. I'll be back with some Wildlife Wednesday photos, Aaron. Chris, thank you. A heated school board meeting in Priest River tonight shattered many parents' hopes for who they say they want as superintendent. New on Nightside, Ronya Kaur has why parents are frustrated and why the school board chair says who they hired is the right person for the job. In four minutes, the West Bonner School Board decided they wanted to keep their decision to hire Brandon Durst as superintendent. I'm very angry right now, um, very disappointed, very frustrated. I think we all are. Everybody that is here is feeling that way. Many parents want interim superintendent Susie Lucky, who was Idaho Hill Elementary School's principal. Brandon Durst is a former candidate for Idaho superintendent and was also a state rep. He's definitely a failed politician that's all about the money. The board has not given Durst to contract, but on Monday, initial asks included a car, money for housing, and free meals at any school. The district is already cutting sports due to its levy failing. These thing is not for somebody that cares about a district that's struggling with money. He's not right for this district. He's a failed politician, and he's just using this district as a stepping stone. Despite backlash from parents, the chair of the West Bonner School Board tells me they hired Brandon Durst for a reason, to change the direction of the district. In a statement, Keith Rutledge, chair of the West Bonner School Board, wrote in part, quote, many people in the community felt it it is time to change directions. The community are demanding changes as indicated by our recent levy failure. We have declining enrollment, poor test scores, and low graduation rates. Callie Schmaltz says as parents, many of them are scared, having a former politician leading the district. We need someone who understands our children, understands our town, understands what the people want. Um, and so I, I, I think that's what we need right now. The school board still needs to consider and approve Durst's contract, which they could at the next meeting. In Preserver, Rania Kaur, 4 News Now. I have to tell them no because people aren't leaving because they know there's no place else to go. Parents are scrambling to find child care in North Idaho. A new report says it's getting more expensive and harder to find. Parents are making some tough decisions, missing work or even quitting their jobs to care for their children. Those who find a daycare are paying more money for enrollment. Child care providers are struggling to hire and retain staff with little wiggle room to raise wages without passing costs down to parents. Noah's Ark Learning Center has more than 100 children enrolled in the fall. The daycare is booked out and people on the waiting list aren't moving up. The state helped pay higher wages for daycare employees for a couple of years, but that COVID funding expired this month, so it's as if teachers are now getting a pay cut. And these parents count on us to provide quality care for their children, and right now I'm struggling to find staff that are qualified, who love children, who are willing to sacrifice and be here where they can work someplace else that maybe gives them more benefits and more pay. 
Daycare workers say some families are two income households and they're already struggling to make ends meet. An increase in tuition would put a major burden on those families. The United Way provides child care scholarships. Depending on your income, you can receive $40 to hundreds of dollars to cover a portion of tuition. Google is now starting to use artificial intelligence to help shoppers choose clothes online. The company announced a new virtual try-on feature that uses generative AI. Google says it can show clothes on a diverse selection of body types in various poses. The new feature is hoping to make it easier for online shoppers to get an idea of how the clothes will look on them before they make a purchase. The AI software will initially work with women's tops from certain brands like Anthropology, Loft, H&M, Everlane. Google said it will expand to men's shirts in the future. While that might be a fun use of AI, many top business leaders are seriously concerned AI could pose an existential threat to humanity in the not too distant future. 119 CEOs were surveyed at the Yale CEO Summit this week. They included the heads of Walmart, Coca-Cola, Xerox, and Zoom, along with pharmaceutical, media, and manufacturing companies. 34% believe artificial intelligence has the potential to destroy humanity in 10 years. 8% say that could happen in five years. New on Nightside. He would ask me at the end of the day, how was your day, honey? It had been a long time since anyone asked me that. Romance scams can happen to anyone. They start on a dating app or social media and over the months, the scammer builds trust with the victim. Eventually, a request comes for the victim to send money for something that is usually urgent. Katie Kleiner of Pennsylvania, the widow of 12 years, met a man online named Tony. They talked every day for months. I think that people are using dating websites to meet people. They are particularly vulnerable because they're in a situation where they're really looking for somebody to be their companion and they want to trust and they want to believe. Well, then that scammer started asking her for money for his sick daughter over a few months. Kate sent Tony her life savings of $39,000. She became suspicious when she said she received a phone call asking for even more. She contacted the FBI and she says they're investigating her case. Kate is now paid by AARP to give talks on her story, hoping no one else will experience her heartbreak. To protect yourself from romance scams, never send anyone money if you haven't met them in person. And remember, if they are avoiding a face-to-face -face meeting, there's usually a reason why. Around the nation, twice impeached and now twice indicted, President Donald Trump was upbeat and defiant after pleading not guilty to 37 federal charges. The former president gave a speech to supporters, once again declaring his innocence and threatening to prosecute President Biden if he's elected. They will fail and we will win bigger and better than ever before. Earlier in the day, Trump was arrested and fingerprinted before his court appearance. Prosecutors allege Trump illegally kept classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago club, didn't fully comply with a subpoena, then repeatedly tried to obstruct the FBI's efforts to retrieve them, even suggesting that his attorney hide or destroy documents. Lately, it's been hard to see the fish at Manitou Park's Koi Pond. What the city says is causing the green water and what park goers want to them to do. That's next on Nightside. Download the 4 News Now app today. The Chevy RS family of SUVs has it all. Whether you want the 10.2 inch diagonal color touchscreen on Blazer or extra peace of mind with Chevy Safety Assist, standard on the 2023 Chevy family of SUVs. So take your pick, the choice is yours. Spring into adventure and get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Equinox models or get $1,250 cash allowance. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. So much of life happens at home, which is why your home should be a place of inspiration designed around great floors you love. Spending time at home on great floors is something to celebrate. Great Floors is offering discounts on select top quality Mohawk products. Save 10% on Revwood Flooring. Revwood Flooring by Mohawk offers stress-free style so you can live life on floors you love. Plus, ask about your 12-month 0% in-house financing. Visit a Great Floors showroom for details and live life on great floors. What's good about River Ridge Hardware and how we stand out as a neighborhood hardware store, when a customer comes in, it's our opportunity to help them with whatever project they're doing, whether it's painting or building something new. We truly want to help you. What makes Peter's Hardware Store stand out in the neighborhood is it is the 
eclectic type hardware store since 1934. And yes, we're the oldest working hardware store in Spokane. It's really a fun place to visit. Be advised. This is a once in a lifetime chance to save 40 to 80% on a hot tub and swim spa Friday through Sunday. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2023 inventory. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. See the revolutionary swim spa. You can exercise, swim, and relax without the expense and maintenance of a pool. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. 18 month interest free financing. Trade ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833 Spa Sale. For News Now is brought to you by Day Out for the Blind, Spokane. Thanks for staying up with us. Might be a bit hard to tell, but you're looking at the Koi Pond at Manitou Park. The water now looks more green, and park visitors say they're having a hard time seeing the fish. Parks and Rec officials say the UV light that kills microscopic algae went out recently. When in use, it leaves enough algae for the fish to eat while keeping the pond clear enough to see the fish. Without it, the pond turns the green color that it is right now. Additionally, a techni technical issue is affecting the pond's autofill system, and staff have been refilling the pond manually until a technician can come out and look at it. It could maybe use a filtration system to help clean it a little more, but it's so beautiful, it's hard to, you know, focus on one negative with all the positives around. The city's Parks and Rec Department says all that algae might make the fish harder to see, but it's okay for the fish. New on Nightside, Father's Day spending could break records this year. Jessica Allen from the website Living Well Spending Less has three tips to help you save money while still expressing your love for your dad. Number one is be intentional. Some of the most popular gifts this year are clothing, gift cards, personal care items. Allen says consider crafting a heartfelt personalized gift instead. It may be cheaper, more thoughtful. Number two, ditch the restaurant and host a grilling session. Buy a cut of meat or a veggie he loves. Have it ready for a weekend celebration and a playlist of all of dad's favorite songs. And number three, plan a memorial or memorable experience. For these men, love is spelled T-I-M-E. And so how can you carve out some time in your weekend to spend some quality time with the fathers in your life? Take dad on a hike, picnic, fishing trip, or any activity that he enjoys. Some family fun is coming to Manitou Park this Father's Day weekend. SNAP will be hosting its 11th annual Dad's Day Dash this Sunday. The race starts at 9. You can register up to the morning of the race. You can find the link to register. It's in this story on our website, kxly.com. Well, lots of good ideas for a nice weekend. It is Wildlife Wednesday time. I have some great photos to share with you, including this cow moose on the run in the Kootenai Valley through the beautiful green grass. This is a great time of year to be a moose. Uh, this photo is from our friend Than Widner. Thank you, Than. Mary Wilbur. Everybody's, I want to say everyone is a friend. Uh, they, also our friend shared this photo of a male evening. I think it's Grosbeak or Grosbeak. I can never remember. I apologize. I should have looked that up before now. Uh, she said she was delighted to see it visiting. One of her favorites, Shannon Verity. Gorgeous white tail bucks in velvet uh, down near Tico. Aren't they cute in the Wheat, which is looking good. Nora Jen out uh, at Cooley Dam shared this photo of a juvenile bald eagle at Lake Rufus Woods, which is right below uh, Grand Cooley Dam. Great shot, Nora. And finally, Lori McLaughlin. This is Rocky and um, named by the uh, owners of an Airbnb in Lewiston where Lori was staying. And uh, she was kind of surprised to see Rocky there at the, uh, at the Airbnb. And she got a picture of him. Very, very cute. Uh, it looks like he's posing, but evidently Rocky is fairly shy. Uh, but thanks for sharing that. We like raccoons here at 4 News Now, don't we, um, Aaron? Yeah, we, we had a couple of close encounters with a few raccoons oh, sure. in the parking lot. I have them on the regular back there. <laughs> <laughs> they like it back in the parking lot. I don't know what they're finding to eat, but uh, they do seem to enjoy it. We haven't named them yet, though. I have. Oh. That's uh, Cindy, Fred, Ricky, <laughs> yeah, like, and um, Kate. <laughs> we'll get, na we'll get name tags for There's them later five of them. with callers. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Uh -huh. Well, new tonight, 
Tomorrow is Nature Photography Day. Clean your smartphones or camera lenses and capture the natural beauty of the outdoors. The North American Nature Photography Association and millions of photography lovers worldwide observe Nature Photography Day, which is June 15th. That's tomorrow. You don't have to go on a safari necessarily. There are probably plenty of nature in your backyard or in a nearby park. Send your nature photos to us or share them online with the hashtag Nature Photography Day. So far this year, more than 1,000 people have died in house fires in the U.S. Firefighters say most of those deaths are preventable. That's why you may need or you may see some firefighters or fire marshals going door to door in certain Spokane Valley neighborhoods throughout the year. They want to make sure you're equipped with the right tools that could save your life. All kinds of great programs, but this one seems to be the one that can be the most impactful, especially when it comes to fire. Well, you'll learn all about the Blitz and why Assistant Fire Marshal Brett Anderson says he has proof that it is life-saving. That's in Robin Nance's special report. It airs tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. It's a close one between the Seattle Mariners and Miami Marlins. The amazing play that decided the game. That's next in sports. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you in part by the Mustard Seed. Scammers. Yeah, they're out there just waiting to pounce, steal, and scam you. And that's why this week, GMA's hitting the road, exposing the fastest rising scams to be on the watch for and how to avoid. From identity theft and fraud to business imposter scams, stunning romance scams, and oh yeah, those robocalls. Watch out, scammers. GMA Scam You is hitting the road and exposing the scams. This week on Good Morning America, don't get scammed. I had a lot of bad days with gout, but that one took the wedding cake. Even with medicine, my uric acid was still too high to stop painful gout buildup. Then a gout specialist told me about Cristexa. Cristexa is a prescription medicine for adults with gout whose symptoms are not controlled by other gout medicines. I learned Cristexa quickly starts working to break down gout buildup. Cristexa is an infused medicine. Serious life-threatening allergic reactions can occur while taking Cristexa. Tell your doctor right away if you have symptoms such as shortness of breath, trouble breathing, dizziness, itching, or swelling of the throat or tongue. Cristexa is not recommended if you have high levels of uric acid without a history of gout. Do not take Cristexa if you have a rare disorder called G6PD deficiency or favism. Before receiving Cristexa, tell your doctor if you have a history of heart problems in all the medicines you take. Cristexa may cause gout flare-ups, allergic reactions, nausea, bruising, sore throat, constipation, chest pain, and vomiting. I received Cristexa for about six months. Now I'm in control, not gout. Find a doctor who specializes in gout at goutdocnow.com. Be advised. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to save 40 to 80 percent on a hot tub and swim spa Friday through Sunday. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2023 inventory. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. See the revolutionary swim spa. You can exercise, swim, and relax without the expense and maintenance of a pool. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80 percent off. 18-month interest-free financing. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833 Sale. Oh, it was a special day at T-Mobile Park. Thanks for tuning into sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. Now, check out this cool moment before the Seattle Mariners game tonight. Mariners legend Ichiro Suzuki traded jerseys with former Washington State basketball player Josh Hawkinson. The U.S. to Japan connection is strong. Ichiro is one of the best Japanese-born players to play here in the States. Hawkinson played basketball here in the U.S. with the Cougars and now plays professionally in Japan. Pretty cool. Now, as for the actual game. The Mariners were looking to sweep the Miami Marlins. We go to the sixth inning. Seattle trailing by a run. We'll make that two. Jorge Soler with a laser over the wall for a home run as they go up by two. Now we go to the ninth. Mariners trailing for nothing with the bases loaded. A home run would tie it. And Eugenio Suarez hits it deep, but Jesus Sanchez leaps and makes the grab. Sanchez takes away a grand slam from the Mariners as we take another look. Oh, look at that catch. Tough one for Seattle tonight as they drop the series finale 4-1. to one. Mariners have an off day tomorrow before hosting the Chicago White Sox starting Friday.
Spokane Indians hosting the Eugene Emeralds for game two of the series at Avista Stadium. The Indians won the series opener last night. We start in the fifth inning. Base is loaded for Spokane and they're trailing by one, but Zach Kakoska hits one to opposite field and the ball carries over the wall for a grand slam. And just like that, the Indians take a seven to four lead. But the Emeralds are a tough team to put away. Gordy Santos will bang one off the wall in right field. Don't worry, the wall was okay, but a run scores for you. Eugene to make it seven to five as the Emeralds are back in business and all of a sudden it's a ball game again. Now a few batters later, Keegan James on the mound for Spokane. He throws a wild pitch. The ball gets away as another run scores for Eugene. Spokane had the lead, but they gave it up there in the late innings as the Indians fall 11 to seven. Game three of the series is at 635 tomorrow at Avista Stadium. And the Seattle Seahawks are probably curled up in their beds right now, getting some much needed rest. The team finished up OTA practices today, OTAs, otherwise known as organized team activities. Now, these were the final practices before a month off and then training camp next month. Now, the Seahawks have a lot of young players to be excited about. First round draft picks Devin Witherspoon and Jackson Smith and Jigba have impressed the coaching staff so far this offseason. But Seattle is relying on a lot of the older guys during this time, 30 year old wide receiver that guy Tyler Lockett is entering his ninth NFL season star wide receiver DK Metcalf is going into his fifth NFL season and those two players are expected to be the example for the young guys to follow you know the biggest thing is even though you've been here for a while and you're a vet you're also you know fighting old age <laughs> you know you're fighting things that your body used to do normally and now you kind of got to get it going uh, you got to stretch more. You got to, you know, kind of do a pre-workout before the real workout. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's kind of different than the rookies and the second-year guys coming in. So that's basically what, I was, what I'm doing to the young guys is just showing them what helped me my rookie year. And if it, it helped them, it's going to help me. If not, it's not. So training camp begins next month, and the Seahawks open the season September 10th at home against the L.A. Rams. And according to the athletic former Washington State football coach Mike Leach will be inducted into the Hall of Honor at Texas Tech. The late Leach spent 10 seasons with the Red Raiders and is the program's all-time leader in wins. He's also the innovator of the air raid offense, which he made famous at Texas Tech and Washington State. Leach died in December due to complications related to a heart condition. The induction ceremony is scheduled for September. And that'll wrap us up for sports. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield. That could earn you up to $500 every year or more. Spokane and North Idaho's country leader. It goes like one. Your neighborhood Ace Hardware Store and 4 News Now are teaming up for Father Mo's Best. Enter to win a Toro battery-powered lawnmower at your Ace Hardware Store or at KXLY.com. Two mowers will be given away June 12th and June 19th. Ace, the helpful place. If you've been thinking about remodeling your kitchen or upgrading a bathroom with a fun new look, right now is the perfect time to call Northwest Granite and Cabinets. Northwest Granite and Cabinets is the premier shop for the best selection of unique granite, marble, and quartz countertop options and can customize any unique look you need with a variety of options for any room in your home. So, if you're looking to give your home a fresh new look this year, call Northwest Granite, the one-stop shop that does it all. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Friday through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2023 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. It always comes to the time of show where just like, that's the end. What do you say? 
Good night, sweet oh. dreams. Oh. Bye. Thanks for watching. Yeah. You guys are so good. I've been here a while. Glad to have you around. <laughs> oh.